to forestall this crisis, is there anything you feel from the legal point of view that the government, that the Ministry of Environment per se now, and uh, they knows what the investment or corporation would have done to? Yes, very well. In line with uh, global best global practices, issues of acquisition of land, there are procedures. Um, um, but you see, ordinarily adequate notice should have been given, rather than just throwing a, a, a backdated notice at them and uh, asking them to vacate within the next seven days or one month thereabout. That is that is that is not proper. They ought to have been given adequate notice, inform the community that they want to take over this land. They want to see how they're going to benefit from the investors that are coming in and all that and all that. That was not done. The Ministry of Environment, who is their landlord, ought to have actually given... I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going to hold knows what the investment uh, company responsible for this. It is the Ministry of Environment, the Honorable Commission of Environment, ought to have directed through the appropriate uh, department to issue proper notice and call these farmers, hold a meeting with them, tell them what's about to come, so that they can prepare. You know, it, it's, 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 this should not be allowed in the civilized world, particularly... Uh, 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 a state such as Delta State, I think we shouldn't be seen doing this kind of a thing. It's, it's, it's quite repressive. It's the information that um, some people were invading the farmland, destroying our crops and all that. And we started looking for the people who are behind it. And we're told it was government, we were told it was this one who had different stories. And so that brings us, we're still on the issue right now. We're here, they are still there demolishing and uh, destroying our crops, everything. There are a lot of orphans here, there are a lot of widows. The livelihood of the people here, they are predominantly farmers. That's the, 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 what they do. And uh, I actually came here on uh, mission work. And that's how I, I bought into the idea of farming because my people here are farmers and um, I became one of them. And seeing us suffering like this is not the best thing. So that's why we're doing In what we're doing. specific terms, what are the exact demands of the people, your clients? The demand is clear. Give them adequate notice, say one to two years or thereabouts. Pay them reasonable compensation for the destruction of those crops and then for displacing them. You see, if you look at chapter 2 of the 1999 Constitution as amended, it talks about fundamental objectives and directive principles of state policy. If you look at particularly section 14 of that provision, it talks about uh, uh, so that sovereignty belongs to the people of Nigeria from whom government through its constitution derives all its powers and authority. Particularly sub B. The security and welfare of the people shall be the primary purpose of government. The whole essence and purpose of government is the welfare, the happiness, the joy of the people. That is all. Whatever policy government wants to implement, it must be centered on the good of the human beings, the people, the people. That's what makes a country. It's the, it's the people. So that is what, so the demand is clear. Pay them adequate compensation, Displacing them, they have been tenants since 1978, contributing so much to the economic development of the other states. Pay them that compensation, and then possibly, if you have alternative place for them, but these are all these are issues that can be discussed on a round table, and that's what why we want to discuss with them. They should stop further uh, destruction of their farmland. It's unjust. It's unfair, and I know that our, our governor, the people's governor, will not tolerate this. So I call on those who are responsible for this to quickly stop this action. It's inhuman. It should not be seen happening in a place like Delta State, not to talk of the state capital.